Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So this is going to be kind of a quickie. And this was the message we, we got in the last couple of days that we shared over on uh, Patreon only. Um, and it was about the Galactic Federation, the origin of the Draco Reptilians, the AIB system. You know, when did this, how did this all come to pass? You know, again, uh, this is so much bigger than most people can imagine. It truly, truly is. And we do want to thank our newest patrons. Yes, we want to say a huge thank you to D. Rogers, Lightbearer, Jedi, and Ignatio. Thank you guys so much. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much. We could use a few more Jedis in these times. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> so I had seen an article and it was talking about Alaska wanting to secede. Uh, actually, 36% of people surveyed said that they would be happy to leave the U.S. and perhaps be their own entity up in Alaska. We have seen that with Texas. And as you see here, Texas has 31% of people saying the same thing according to this survey. But as you can see, you have California with 29%, Florida 24%, New York 28%. Um, you yeah, know, I guess there's a lot of realizations that, you know, things aren't so rosy anymore uh, here in the good old U.S. of A. I guess they didn't get any responses from people up in the Dakotas or Wyoming on this. Um, interesting. But again, I think this is all about that massive change, that massive, huge geopolitical change that we're watching transpire right now. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I think this is good people are speaking up but um i guess my thing is is let's not allow ourselves to be herded just into another pin Let, let's be very careful when it comes to that know that you are claiming your sovereignty you're stepping out of the system you're not supporting the old beast system in any way um they have a lot of tricks up their sleeve and the only way to get around that is to not support them yeah, and again, easier said than done when you have uh, an armed IRS that's yep. ready to take your property and claim it for the government. But, you know, this is this is the reality. They say the government is of the people, for the people, by the people, but that's not the reality. And, and that's pretty obvious now to more and more people. And yet, whenever there's new projects, new uh, packages, bills, etc., it is our taxes that they forcefully take from us in order to achieve their objectives, which usually end up harming us in some way, shape, or form, or others. You know, it's part of that great reveal. Here is a lawsuit um, that you know who, Mr. Kennedy over here, actually uh, got on the right side of. A massive victory in his lawsuit against the Biden administration for colluding with social media companies to censor him and others. So he was able to win a preliminary injunction. So preliminary injunctions are just that, they're preliminary. As a federal judge ruled that the government was insinuating themselves into the social, social media companies' private affairs and blurring the line between public and private action. There are big, big changes afoot, you know, and his apparent senility is going to, again, uh, he's the new Nero in so many ways. What's Nero doing? Rome is burning. I don't know. He's playing with his fiddle. Yeah, right. Uh-oh. Anyway, this is how history repeats itself, but we could see how it's being set up. Yes, there are a lot of good things awakening-wise that's happening, but as Cindy was alluding to, they are ready, willing, and able to take you and herd you into that next pen when you think you're escaping for freedom. This way, guys. Oh, wait. No. Go back. Go back. It's a trap. This is what they do time and time again. Okay. <clears throat> I'm hoping that this makes it through because uh, this could be a very touchy thing. And we won't show the other pictures that are here or the video because it's... Um, it's not nice uh, at all. This is Faisal. This is allegedly Faisal Ali Muslim Al Nami, a UN relief worker. Now, this is the massacre 
that happened that started all this with Gaza on October 7th. And he's shown grabbing a particular body and he's shown also looking like he's one of the perpetrators and for whatever reason they they grab a body that is it, it, either the person's unconscious or or they're no longer alive and they put it in the vehicle so a un relief worker in fact uh, more than one un relief worker apparently allegedly took part in this this is the thing that we want to um, kind of get across. This says the UN RWA has lost legitimacy. Well, you know, in reality, none of these big organizations have ever legitimately been what they're supposed to be. And again, <laughs> when you have all the alphabet soups, doesn't matter whether it's uh, the old time OSS, MI6, whether it's the SS, whether it's the KGB, whether it's the CIA, the FBI, the D, you know, again, these agencies don't ever work for humanity and the betterment of the planet. Uh, if they do do some things that help the planet, that's just, you know, it's not the main objective. It just happens to be something that's in alignment in that way. The reality is they work for the elite. They work for the real controllers uh, who we don't really ever see visually. And they will do what they're told to do. And if you are somebody that's supposed to be helping humanity, somebody that is doing a, a job in which you would think, well, that person really wants to help people. If by, by what? Putting them out of their misery? Uh, this is insane. And this is the reality of, of the system that's in place. When you look at his energy, what do you see? Well, I mean, he he's a very strong part of a much bigger entity. When I when I look at the the system, and when I say system, I mean the FBI, CIA, the FDA, the KGB, all of these controlling entities. To me, it it looks like one very large entity with many, many, many small moving parts. And when one part um, gets moved out of the way or is not functioning, another part just simply moves into place. So we're really up against a very large beast. And I do believe when I see this uh, energy, to me, it is a very large beast. It's one entity. So this guy is definitely something like if moving away, trying to move away from this entity, it's so easy for him to get grabbed right back in energetically. It's like these people are set up in a way where they're um, indoctrinated and educated to stick very close to this uh, very large beast. Um, it, it's just strange the way I'm seeing it. I'm not seeing it, these as individuals at all. This is a large entity that has this magnetic energy that's pulling these people in and it's holding them there and it's having them function in a certain way. So it's just an interesting visual that's coming up this morning when I'm looking at this guy. And, and this is the original when, when we were asking and, and searching into, you know, was this operation on October 7th, the massacre, was it truly Hamas? Was it truly Israel? And the answer is they're one in the same. Mm -hmm. At the highest level, they are one in the same. And that's something people need to realize. They want you to blame one side. They want you to blame the other side. They want you to get riled up and angry against either side. <clears throat> you know, they want the people in, in Russia to hate the CIA and the FBI. They want the people in, in America to hate, you know, whatever it is over there in Iran or, or North Korea, etc. As long as the hatred is towards one of their um, subdivisions, which are always kind of changing in one, one way, shape, or form, uh, they'll always raise a new boogeyman when the old boogeyman goes. Mm -hmm. Then we miss the bigger picture, and we end up again uh, serving their purposes by going and lashing out at each other. Things are not like they always look. They are not like they always look. And, you know, just to show you this, now here you might think, I don't know. I don't know what her nationality is. Oh, yeah. 
I mean, again, nationality, nations, um, this is what we want to get people to understand is that nations are arbitrary. Nations serve a purpose. They totally serve a purpose. They disguise uh, the real intentions of the controllers by positing, you know, hey, you, know, you live in the best nation on the planet. Only your nation has the right view. Just your nation. Be patriotic. Being patriotic serves their purpose because they don't want us unifying. And I know there was one comment where somebody said, you, you can't be serious. You, you, you envision a nation, uh, you envision a world without nations. Yes. So, you know, but we don't want the one world order. And, and that's why I had said the first thing you got to do before you eliminate all the borders is eliminate the true control system and all of, of its, you know, many uh, facets, you know, through the UN, through all these different things. You know, this, this is no big deal. What we just saw there was no big deal because this is for the first President Bush thinks he's talking to uh, somebody, but he's not. I mean, this is way back in the early 1990s where his own uh, Joe Jana Mendez, again, you know, one of the alphabet soups people, CIA's chief of disguise, put a disguise on and fooled the president, allegedly, again. You know, so way back 30-something years ago, yeah, and, and nowadays, way beyond that. And then, of course, you know, we have the fact that they can insert into any sort of film, any sort of uh, image that we see. They can doctor it, and they can, you know, they could basically frame anybody they want at any time for anything. This is part of what's going on in this world right now. And when you think, because there was a sign with protesters saying, I thought Hitler died. No, Hitler didn't die. You know, and this is the whole reality. If, if they showed, you know, Putin or Xi, you know, uh, no, you know dead and, and uh, something happened and he was, they were, either one of them were overthrown by their people and we see the body out in the middle of the square you can't believe it's really the body because we, we understand there's body doubles, there's all sorts of things, there's cloning, and y you can't trust your own eyes. And, you know, they, they will throw their own people to the wolves, but at the same time, will it be their own people? <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, it's it's a tough one we're in. And Governor Abbott in Texas announced a big military base at the border and... You know, again, we are we are fixing for conflict is what we are fixing for, as they say here in the South. 4.7, as you can see, this is southeast of uh, San Antonio, 6.8 kilometers depth. And there is an assortment of aftershocks there, 3.3, 3.7, 4.4, 3.9. A little bit on the large side, we, you know, again, there's fracking all all over the place. Um, as you can see, another one down here. But a lot of curious, we, we see the swarms here. And, and again, going through this area, all you see is oil wells. And again, California, as always, uh, lots of swarms. Hawaii still has some swarms going. There's been a little bit more activity than what we've seen typically up through Washington and Idaho and watching for Cascadia. Meanwhile, you have Poland's Prime Minister, Donald Tusk, announces Poland will swiftly modernize its border wall with Belarus. Poland built a 5.5 meter high, 186 kilometer long wall after Belarus started flying in African and Middle Eastern illegal migrants and pushing them into Poland back in 2021. Think back to all those issues that we saw too with um, Greece and Turkey with the same sort of situation. This has been ongoing for a very, very long time. It's just coming to a, a, a head. It's coming to a climax right now. So, you know, what you have going on is very, very apparent. Um, it, it is, you know, as far as the time and the window to get yourself situated and really think about what you need to do before everything gets really chaotic. 
that you know the sands in that hourglass are are winding out at this point in time Sudanese migrant shot and killed by French police in Paris wearing a traditional jalabia and carrying a Arab- Arabic notebook in his hand he lunged at police officers with a butcher knife they shot him 20 times crazy times there's too many of these things going on to keep track of in these times here you have illegal migrants in france organizing a mass protest against immigration laws <laughs> yeah uh, again you know i think in nostradamus's words where he says that they will send ahead sending ahead of of the bigger military uh, men without laws hiding weapons under their robes and they will take certain cities and they will burn them some they will burn twice now timelines can shift and you know it feels that what the information that we we got about using a cer- certain technology um, it could be a slight shift or it could be still part of um, what we had seen and what I had seen, you know, going way back to the 80s. It is it is getting closer. Um, so, again, you know, double check things like water purification. How about water itself? Do you know you your water would run if, if the grid is down? That's a big, big question because, again, we, we can eat a little bit less. We can ration so that we could, you know, stay a, alive as far as food goes, uh, taking in minimal calories. But without water, yeah, that gets very, very challenging. There has been uh, ongoing war in Congo, as this post says, uh, never ceased since 2002. And it says Congo women take to the streets to protest on the 14th of February, saying the USA, Rwanda, France, UK, Poland, and Belgium are the main sponsors of the war ongoing in the Congo. If you wonder why there are so many people that are coming into the US and NATO countries from certain countries, it's because of what's been done to them. And and this is what we need to understand. They, they start by picking out an area that has something they want and in the dark in the shadows there are all sorts of atrocities that uh, that go on like child <laughs> child labor mining cobalt in the congo and again uh, when we look to batteries and power systems and and everything heading over in a certain way with the energy sector and you realize there are st- still places on this planet where little kids that should be playing all day long and learning instead they're laboring away they're slaving like humans under the Anunnaki and the Ajiji because humanity is still in effect under the Anunnaki and the Ajiji system It, it hasn't changed it has apparently changed in some places now the the places that had the highest level of quality of life those those people those citizens in those places you know like us in the united states the uk canada new zealand australia france uh, you know etc etc maybe we didn't realize really what was going on in other places these other places were literally you know you, you had their citizens living lives of hell horrible living horribly atrociously and you don't think they're going to look at us living comfortably and and have anger and hatred building? Well, this is what the system does. It uses that. It uses those emotions. It turns it, turns them in the right you know, direction for uh, creating chaos back when it's time to let them loose and destroy the old system and then do it all over again. Here, you got to wonder who's in this, who owned this house. This is Sterling, Virginia. Home explodes with fire crew inside. One firefighter dead, 11 others injured. They blamed it on an old buried propane tank. Could it have just been something like that? Maybe. It looks like a pretty wealthy area. Um, It feels like this is very similar to that other uh, house that exploded 
um, that we covered before in the Virginia area where there were some interesting ties again to what? To the alphabet soups. Yes. So I, I, I'm curious to see who this ends up being. Mm-hmm. I know this was this was one of those things where I looked at it and I thought, oh, my gosh, you know, this was so deliberate and very um, pointed. But just going back for a second to to the the people that are working in the mines, um, making a living. I think this is a good example where we can bring up the Anunnaki and the Ajiji being non-human entities that really rule this world, but still the humans that are overseeing this, that are kind of stepped back, they're the ones being ruled by these Anunnaki, Ajiji, other being channeled uh, by these other entities. But me, I, the picture couldn't be any clearer that this is not... Um, anything that humans do to humans no this is completely manipulated by off planet and once people really truly get that i i think we'll start coming together and helping one another more and more and more but we're in a state now where cognitive dissonance is a survival tactic for so many they have to have it otherwise they're not going to be able to function i mean one of the things i try to do on this channel is i don't want to scare people because fear is so real and other energies i know use that fear to feed i want people to be in reality i want them to be here but sometimes for their own good or safety of their soul they just they cannot see the truth so i think we need to look out at that with compassion when we have family members that just can't see and remember hold you know if you're a light worker and a light anchor hold your post and if you can't get the information across then no it's not you you you're not doing anything wrong um they're not ready to face it but this is really the depths of humanity and the control system at work right here. I think it's just so sad. Yeah, and I think people, uh, it's easy for them to believe in a, a deep state, but they just can't acknowledge how deep that is. Right. <laughs> uh, because if, it, if they were to acknowledge something like this, it, it can be viewed in, a, in an absolutely terrifying light when you realize that we're dealing with some, some technologies and beings that are so much more uh, advanced than us and you did literally wake up on a slave planet that is being controlled by extraterrestrials as we had said before the alien invasion happened a long time ago this this is you know the reality you have people thinking well it's going to be blue beam don't worry jesus is going to save me um yeah, no well you know again they want you waiting for some outside savior to come because you know they do plan on showing up themselves at some point in time and that's a good lead into this as we'll take a peek at at this little piece here that looked interesting did it not that was in um columbia that's an interesting looking shape you know and again uh you will get people that will want to say Oh, that's been debunked. So, you know, hey, there are no aliens. It, they're all demons, fallen angels, etc. Well, there are demons, absolutely. You know, Cindy and I have met many, many, many demons ourselves. In fact, you know, we get rid of demons on a regular basis. This is part of what we do every single day. We, we will have people that we work with spiritually, um, in, in sessions on phones and we will first thing we do is we clear uh, their energy fields and again if you are going and dipping back into um, illegal substances or legal substances that open up your consciousness for basically possession or at least to where they can attach onto you and utilize you as a food source then you know you could clear them every day and they'll come right back we have to change our ways we have to raise our frequency up we have literally cleansed thousands and thousands of people over the years uh from these dark energies so yes absolutely uh demons yes we've seen them firsthand and you know they are real but there's also extraterrestrials there are interdimensional beings 
There are beings living inside the earth itself on various densities. And there's also intelligent beings that live in our oceans and stay hidden out of sight as well. But this is all part of the big reveal uh, that is underway right now. What we have to do is, is, is work on helping each other. And, you know, again, they teach us to fear Mother Nature when we should be understanding Mother Nature views us as long as we are really trying to live in harmony with the planet. It's, it's viewing us as a part of the planet because we are. We're all a cell in this planet. And this planet's a cell in something bigger. The entire universe is a cell in something bigger. This is the way it is. This is, uh, again, that fractal nature of our reality. And understanding that instead of working against each other, we should be working with each other. It's working against each other. That's how they control us. They give us Darwinian evolution, survival of the fittest. And thus, people will throw out the, the whole book on evolution and think there is no evolution. Of course there is. Evolution is just a progression. It's, it's an order. In fact, nothing ever stays the same. There, there is no eternity in heaven. There is no eternity in hell. There is et eternal consciousness. And consciousness is meant to explore new realities. And that's exactly what we do. We're, again, not these uh, human bodies. The human bodies are just a vehicle. As long as we, you know, continually get pulled into their illusion and we are kept separate, it, then we, we, we will not rise above. And again, we can't trust in any of their solutions because they will always offer solutions. And that's part of what they're doing right now is getting ready to say, you know, hey, you know, you guys have been, you, know, you might not have known it, but, but you are the evil empire. And the evil empire is going to fall. And now this is your chance, you know, to try something new. It's going to be so great. Oh, yes. You know, and, and when we say okay to that, we find that we're just back in their system again. It, it's, it's getting out of the entirety of the system is the only way um, to truly have our own personal freedom. Mm hmm you know, it's it's about uh, figuring out where you are in this world and going with the flow to the best of your ability and utilizing that energy to get you away from the control system. The control system, everything about it, it goes against the grain. It's just not natural. You, you wake up and we have choices, you know, choices. Do we assist Mother Nature or are we going to go against Mother Nature? And figuring out a way we can best spend our energy and going with the flow instead of, you know, working against each other. And some people don't even know they are working against each other. But sometimes all you need to do is have a little bit of self-reflection and say, hey, this is where my energy is best spent. And I think when Mike and I, we, we work on people, that's what people want to know. It's like, where could I, where is the biggest bang for my buck in this lifetime? How do I get in the flow of my life? And that's also what we help people find because this world is set up so chaotic. I mean, it's, it's a mess, but remember, it's a mess on purpose. Everything that you are about, you are a magnificent being with how you, you have great 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 capabilities given the idea that you're put in a place where you can utilize those abilities to the best of of your your ability but the controllers it's like they come along and they have a way of making people a square pig and then trying to make them fit into a round hole and it's just not working for so many and it's definitely frustrating so finding a way to go with the flow, finding a way to go along, help Mother Earth not go against her. Baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. Go easy on each other. Um, it's not an easy path, but we're getting there. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I, I see comments all the time, too. Well, well, how do I make sure that I'm not getting taken over or I'm not being used as food well again you need to clean up and get sober yeah, i mean as sober as sober can be so you know and and in these times we could go two different ways and and we could take that um 
that look at things like, well, tomorrow we might die, so let's party. Uh, yeah, that just lowers your it, it lowers your higher self ability to control your situation and just opens the floodgates <clears throat> for demonic entities to come in and control you. We have lost, you know, friends uh, that have gone that route, friends that have just simply had one or two times when they went a little bit too much, a little too excessive, and they're not here. And and that's really sad. And, you know, people that have been, you know, fighting uh, their own inner demons and, you know, again, opened up that door just a little bit and they're they're gone now. You know, they're out of body. And and that is is really so sad. The the other way to go is to raise your frequency up stop eating junk food stop eating uh because again so much of the food that we're eating has all this technology in it that is going to lower you and also enable other technologies like voice of god technologies uh to eventually be utilized against you and they've been doing this for years uh again voice of god is very very real and yeah i think they are activating a lot of people with it right now so you know be as sober as possible and that includes even simple things that are things you could go into any walgreens cvs uh any place like that walmart and get and you might not think it's mind altering but it is absolutely frequency altering so look to nature look to natural solutions uh look to um, you know, your diet first and foremost as, as being that which uh, can help you to heal both body, mind, and spirit and eat real foods. Again, the non-GMOs. Uh, this is all a good place to start. And don't open the door to things that are going to uh, be loaded with dark energies like so many of these you know maybe maybe you're not going down that route at all and instead maybe you're <laughs> delving into first person shooter games that's conditioning you for what's to come uh, again it, it it's it's not going to be popular with a lot of people at this point in time because we've gotten so used to the system so indoctrinated in the system to, to tell you things like, well, you know, uh, your, your God of War, your Call of Duty, your, your Grand Theft Auto, these, these games themselves are truly demonic and they are opening you up uh, to these energies. And they are also training you for what comes next because, again, uh, the military of the future is going to be uh, people operating drones and robots from a distance and playing video games but on the other side it's real lives that are going to be extinguished mm -hmm. it's a mess don't don't get caught up in it as always guys we thank you for your support stay prepared much love source bless namaste namaste